welcome back to Moto MC. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. Today I will be doing a bike review on this beautiful 2020 um, KTM Duke 390. So today in short I'll be telling you that this beautiful Duke 390 is lightweight, nimble handling, has some state-of-the-art technology features and is not too intimidating in the HP department. Whether you are fighting through the urban jungle or uh, thrashing it out on the track, this bike is a great crossover bike, um, especially for any first street riders. Good. In this video, I'm going to be uh, delving a little bit deeper into the pros, the cons, uh, some advice and features, and who I recommend this bike would suit. Alright, so a disclaimer, I'm not a professional mechanic, and I'm still learning myself. I just want to basically relay the information that I have onto you guys, and hopefully get more people um, joining the two-wheel community. So, the 2020 and the 2021 models um, come in two colour uh, styles. Uh, one is obviously this one, the orange and white, but there's also orange and silver, which I will put a picture right here somewhere. Okay. KTM uh, personally calls this torquey 390cc single-cylinder single engine um, the corner rocket or sometimes confused with the spawn of the beast, as they call it. Obviously, to the Super Duke, which is basically this one's little brother. <laughs> so, the KTM Duke engine not only delivers impressive torque and thrilling acceleration, but also a diverse usability for, uh, for smooth riding with the ride-by-wire technology and fuel injection system. It provides easy-to-manage power with its state-of-the-art chassis its lightweight steel trellis frame, which is uh, obviously gives its name as the corner rocket, because its mass is grouped uh, to the center of the gravity. Okay. With its delivery of movability and precision, uh, the KTM Duke 390 extorts a huge riding attitude. Some more features of the bike, we have the sharp lines down here and the beautiful LED headlights which are super easy, it makes it super easy to see in the night because they are so friggin bright. Mm. The Duke's lightweight exhaust system on this side comprises of a side exhaust, link pipe and silencer. Um, three chamber silencer has been positioned on the bike's overall center of gravity which obviously allows it for improving balance and handling. A bike as nimble and compact as this one deserves to pack a solid punch. With 32 kilowatts, so 44 horsepower, and a dry weight of just 149 kilograms. The 46 millimeter throttle body um, and the meticulous fuel injection system uh, allows for strong and ready to leave, quick off the mark power. Not only does the slipper clutch open when engine back torque becomes too high, um, it also assists you when you open the throttle. And the former prevents rear wheel, rear wheel chatter when braking sharply or decelerating. Yeah. It's the guarantee of a smooth throttle response, more than simply the absence of a throttle cable. The ride-by-wire technology um, ensures perfect delivery of the readily available and gut-wrenching torque. It yeah. also translates the throttle commands of the rider into throttle valve positions, perfectly suited to the riding conditions, making the perfect uh, crossover bike from the circuit to the road. Just like the KTM 1290 Super Duke, this one's big brother as I mentioned earlier, the four valves in the cylinder head of the KTM 390 Duke are actuated by two overhead camshafts um, and ultra hard carbon coated cam followers. The result of this is an ultra reliable long lasting engine that uh, produces next level power. So the intricate uh, design of the engine, uh, say the art fuel injection, the electronics, um, ride-by-wire, six-speed transmission, not only help the Dukes uh, to achieve white knuckle performance, but also extremely low fuel consumption. All right. So as you can see here, this is the instrument panel. It is a multicolored TFT display uh, showing a digital speedometer. It includes a shift timing indicator lamp, gear position indicator, fuel gauge, water temperature gauge, and fuel economy, economy information, clock, trip meters, and more, as you can see there. As you can 
see you have these ultra lightweight upside down WP forks uh, which helps with the suspension of the bike. Here, this white spring in here is called the shock absorber. Um, it's a 150 millimeter spring and it allows for smooth, um, durable riding. So, the wheels are as light as they are stable. The 17 inch cast alloy racing wheels have you put the power down with confidence. Utilizing a 110 millimeter wide uh, tire at the front and an impressive 150 millimeter uh, at the rear. Front brake disc as uh, diameter is 320 millimeters, whilst the rear um, brake disc diameter is 230 uh, millimeters. Mm. The front brake is also four piston radial uh, fixed caliper. Yeah. So the stopping power on this brakes on these brakes are quite astronomical. They are a BYBRE technology, um, which have also got advanced ABS, the anti-lock braking system. Perfect knee contact on this fuel tank is uh, quite surprising. It is really slick, 13.4 uh, litre steel fuel tank, uh, which allows for riders to grip legs on the side here um, quite well. All right, so now talking about the handlebars up the front here. It's high tech, upright handlebars, um, offer control, yet uh, aggressive body position up here. This bike has a squishy 820 millimeter seat. That is quite comfortable to ride on. Talking about the hand levers, they are super adjustable. So there are five different uh, options you can change them to, the brake and the clutch lever. And you can put it into the position that makes you most comfortable when riding. Um, I think this is a really good feature that not all bikes have. Um, and it's really good to have because, you know, different riders might be riding the same bike or things like that. And it's just really good to be, have your options open basically. Great. The Duke offers a beautiful LED headlight, which makes it really easy to see in the dark, as I said earlier. Um, this precision is very similar to the Super Duke's design as well. So, something really important to note is this is a LAMS approved bike, L-A-M-S, which means that restricted licenses, so L's, red P's and green P's, are allowed to ride this bike as well as open licenses. So, restricted and open licenses, it is road legal. Um, this is important uh, because in Australia, not all bikes, uh, I think the, it depends on the ratio, torque level and size of the engine, but this is uh, road legal. Um. So as I mentioned earlier, this bike has ABS, the anti-lock braking system. It also has the Bosch, so B-O-S-C-H, um, which is a standard equip, which is standard equipped on all KTM 390 Dukes to this day. I am a 5 foot 2 girl um, and I ride with these heeled boots, TXC boots on. I am nowhere near flat footing, um, so if you are a shorter rider, I would not recommend this for your first bike. But if you don't mind tiptoeing from one side to the other, go right ahead. Yeah. This bike makes 44 horsepower and 37 millimeters of torque. It's one of the most powerful options for A2 riders in America. It weighs about 139 kilograms when it is stock dry, which is about 308 pounds, I believe. Very light bike. So this one, the 2020 model, it is so new that it's hard to tell what difficulties or problems will arise because it's such a new model. Um, in the 2017 models of these though, which have obviously been um, enhanced and the problems have been fixed, um, some of the ca causes were uh, odometer resets, some problems include TFT leaks, odometer resets, intermittent power loss at a uh, high RPM, and etc. But this bike so far has not had any troubles, obviously because it's so new and you know it hasn't been used as much, so people don't know what the problems are just yet. There may be problems in the future, but nothing has arisen just yet. Mm. So this bike right here was uh, $7,000 Australian dollars. Um, however, brand new, they went for about $7,885. It really depends um, where you get it, obviously. Thank you so much um, everyone for watching my bike review on the KTM Duke 390. Really appreciate it. Uh, come back next week to see another bike review.